This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good night, good night, Kelly Holy. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? Well, it's a little cold and rainy and snowy here in New York, but I am well. Now, I heard that there was going to be a storm tonight. Uh, did it storm? It, yeah, it's kind of icy and messy, but, you know, that's if that's the worst of my problems, that's not... It's not a big problem. I totally agree. I, well, I kind of agree, right? I have not experienced it. So. <laughs> and I, I do not want to experience it. I, I felt the cold a bit, you know, but yeah, I can only imagine. And I would like to remain right there. Is that fair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just keep imagining, you know, just yeah, keep imagining. It's that. the best way to deal with ice and snow. Just imagine it. I love it. Love it. Well, do tell me, I mean, like, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this point? specific time in history uh i want to say my my talent at connecting with people and uh adrian graham who yeah. is someone i i connected with years ago when i was president of a global business network for women and we stayed in touch and uh, she connected us on linkedin how powerful is that, right? A power, the power of a conversation. I'm so fascinated by it. Well, do tell us a bit more about what you do, please. Uh, I'm happy to. So I'm the author of a book called Build Your Dream Network. I am the guest host of a podcast called The Business Builders Show. Uh, and in my past life, I was an attorney. So there we go. Uh, I'm, I'm winding, meandering career path that got me to today oh, that's amazing so who did you learn uh endurance from mm, uh, i think that was probably something learned from um i would say the work ethic and and learn from my parents and grandparents you know the kind of uh you know, you got good grades at school and you produced good work and you got recognized for your talents. I think that's probably where it came from. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, when I look at the world we live in now where, you know, I want to say that, you know, the tap or the swipe and the instant gratification, the the instantaneous um, lack of attention span, what, however you want to describe it, um, most of us will achieve what we want in life over time, not, you know, not, not uh, you know, no overnight Instagram success, so to speak. And so, yes, it has been worth it. Um, I think there was frustrations I had in my 20s when I, my career as an attorney didn't, you know, go as fast as I would want it to. Um, uh, I think of my next career transition um, into management and that maybe, again, you know, wanting sort of more to happen than it did and then mm -hmm. sort of at the ripe old age of 53 i look back and say you know what i'm where i'm supposed to be and those other things were setting me up for today so yeah endurance is worth it love it love it love it why will you continue to be that person that endures <laughs> Oh, because I just kind of feel like I'm getting started. I used to sort of think, you know, you hit my age and, you know, your best years are supposed to be behind you. And now I look at it completely the other way. This is uh, my early careers were just the setup for, you know, the next 40 or so years. So mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm all for I'm all for running marathons, uh, so to speak, when it comes to to life and having that larger runway and possibility. Can I recommend the book? Can you recommend a book? Yes, to you. Please, please recommend a book. Half Time by Bob Buford. Okay, I'm going to read it. Wonderful. Tell me why you love it. Well, it speaks exactly about what you just talked about, where the first half of your life was really setting you up for the second half. It's a really nice book. Uh, unfortunately, the author died uh, last year. But yeah, check it out. Tell me if you like it. I loved it. I Oh, I, I, I'm sure I will. Thank you for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, do tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years, please. Oh, I want to say write. Um, and that's, you know, beyond writing a book and 
um, all the exercise in that, uh, the last three years have been a discipline in consistently putting my ideas out there. And usually that's in written form. Hmm. How does that make you feel looking back from now to then? You know, when you when you sort of talking about, you know, endurance and, and setting up for the next or the second half or third, you know, third act of your career and your life, um, I had never imagined being a, an author and, and a writer. And so I do kind of look back at it and, and in some ways, you know, puzzlement or, or or marvel at the fact that this is what I'm now doing for a living, <clears throat> you know, a skill set and a, and a career I never imagined. Mm, that's amazing. I wonder, as I look at the book title, and I give you a break to moisturize your voice, uh, build your dream net worth. Was that ever an idea? Did that ever pop up? Build your dream net worth? Net worth or net network? Yeah, instead um, of net worth. Did it ever pop up? Like, build your dream net worth. Uh, well, one of the pieces of advice, or, you know, so I give three pieces of career advice to people, and I say to them, um, you know, build your expertise, build your network, and build your bank account. Hmm. Because, you know, you can have all the knowledge in the world, and you can have a network, but, you know, sometimes you got to have that whether it's directly money in your bank account or the ability that you've built a diverse network so other people are going to barter or exchange or help you out to pursue or launch your own idea or to make a career change where maybe the salary is less. So, you know, that that net worth element of it, both being financial, net worth element of it being um, how you feel about yourself mm. uh, and your own confidence in your ability to do something. Um, I think that you know kind of plays through when I think about the way I think of, of networking and positioning yourself within a group of people to succeed. Mm -hmm. Love it. Amazing audience. Again, you're hearing it live from Kelly Hui. She is the author, amongst other things, right, that she's done. But she's the author of Build Your Dream Network. Kelly, let's switch gears for a moment. Let me now invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Kelly, what is your earliest childhood memory? I love this question. Uh, probably when I think a really clear one was uh, going to visit my great grandmother, uh, who I am named after. Uh, she was Julia Kelly, and I am Julia Kelly. And um, she always used to make me Stouffer's macaroni and cheese, which to this day is one of my favorite things. Wow, 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 wow. So how do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? Oh, she lived to 101, so watch out, world. I'll be around for a while. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she was also, I want to say, very vibrant and very alive, uh, you know, till the day she wasn't. So I think uh, when I think about that memory, um, I think of the generations, I think of the wisdom, uh, I think of her strength, even in her physical frailty. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, she was a. Uh, you know, I say she she immigrated from Ireland to Canada. Uh, she homesteaded in northern British Columbia. So I think of someone in sort of that pioneering, um, adventurous spirit. Um, so there we go. Well said. Can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind with that memory? Please do. I love the concept of what, well, at least my imagery of what macaroni pie is. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the combination of some of the riches, the, the, the richest uh, ingredients, but it has to be well combined to make it perfect. And to see you represented in your life by what is necessary, uh, what is enough. As you said, you know, we, we spoke about net work and net worth and uh, building your experience to, to, to create that in your life where it's a sumptuous pie that isn't too much or too little of any one seasoning. I like that, that your grandmother gave you that as a gift. Oh, I love it. I love it. Thank you for that. You're welcome. If we fast forward to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? 
everybody dance on the um, album by Chic. Yeah, well, I mean, for me, that connects because you are the person that's helping people build your dream network. And how else to do it? Everybody dance. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, my friend, we've arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready? Oh, I, I'm ready. Julie, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Uh, many people. Yes. Uh, are you married? No. Do you have children? No. Do you believe in God? Some days. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No, because I don't. Uh, I don't, don't own a TV. A TV? <laughs> wow! All right, all right. What about screen time? The phone under the computer is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? God, I hope it's less than eight. All right. If you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, Julie Kelly Hoy, what would you say that is? Invest in the change you want to see in the world. Hmm. I love that. Well, Kelly, this was such a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Uh, this is just um, a pleasure to speak with your audience and speak with you. And I love this 12-minute format of questions. So keep going, my friend. Keep going. I appreciate that. That means a lot. Ooh, Kelly Hoy, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you. You're welcome. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise.